Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Sports Master here, and before we start this video, let me get out all my plugs that I need to make. Three things in the description down below. One is Twitter, follow me there. Second one is channel update if you want to know why we aren't posting Braves and things like that. Check the channel update. And third one is if you want to vote for the Madden NFL 15 franchise, go to the video linked and go to that comment section and like the comment for the team that I put up. So anyway, guys, let's just go ahead and get in this video as we are back with more Tim Tebow rivalries reversed Heisman Challenge mode in NCAA Football 14. As you see, we're taking on FCS East. We're ranked 7th, and we are 2-0. and And, of course, this is predicted for us to win by blowout. We're going to see if we can win the national championship with Tim Tebow, former quarterback of Florida, who is Florida State's number one rival. And as you see, using the full advantage of Tim Tebow, Apparently, for some reason, he is really overpowered in this game. He throws perfect passes, like, from 60 yards. He can truck everybody. So, it's just kind of unrealistic, but, hey, it's fun. As you see, trying to get a quick score here to open up the ball game, and they'll, Tim Tebow will just walk in right there for a touchdown to get us up 7 to nothing. As you see, he's Tebowing in the Florida State uniform. And we get a turnover here, so on second down and 10, we're already close to getting a touchdown as we have a fake power. Oh, and we throw it to the tight end, Nick O'Leary, and that will be another touchdown. So I'm immediately getting started here, trying to run all over this FCS Southeast team. As I said, we are predicted to blow out, but you never know. There have been FCS teams that, de that defeat top Division One teams before so it can always happen we need to make sure we play our hardest this is Tim Tebow now with a veer and Tim Tebow trucks somebody but he will get about 15 yards there so offense starting off solid he's been improving as the weeks go by as now Tebow drops back in the pocket and he will find Kenny Shaw there for a first down now we have split backs in the backfield Tim Tebow dropping back to pass throwing it deep for Willie Halstead and that will be caught 28 yards and we're again in first and goal situation, looking to go up 21 to nothing. Tim Tebow running, and he fumbles it at the one-yard line, and it is recovered by FCS Southeast. So a bad break there, maybe swinging the momentum. FCS Southeast looking to get something going on offense, perhaps, but they can't do anything. So really, it just causes us to lose seven in a sack as somebody, a free rusher, sacks Tim Tebow now on third down and 20. Tebow dropping back. Throwing it deep, and it is the out of bounds. And FCS Southeast gets seven points, and now it's 14-7. to seven. They're trying to make a comeback as Tebow drops back to pass. Throws it deep, and it's intercepted by Mitchell. So Tim Tebow struggling now. Can FCS Southeast tie it? No, is there still, we're still up by seven. Tim Tebow doing what he does best, just runs outside of the pocket. Gets a first down and a lot more. Tebow. Looking to get a score before the end of the half, as you see, is now second down and 10. They're going to go with a blitz to prevent his run game, but he gets it off to Nick O'Leary, the tight end, for another first down. And now with Devonta Freeman in the backfield, Tebow's going to run it off again, and Tebow trucks some people and gets a first down. About a gain of 12 as we're now in another first and goal situation. And on first and goal, a screen set up for Devonta Freeman, and Freeman gets in for the touchdown. So it is 21 to 7. There's about a minute left in that half. So Tim Tebow to the running back, Devonta Freeman. Freeman hasn't been running as much, more to the fact that Tim Tebow's been doing all the running. But as you see, we'll get the ball with just a couple seconds left in the half. Tebow throws it deep, and it is caught by Kenny Shaw again. So a first down, and now sets him up for a field goal. Looks like a pretty long field goal, 50-plus. Snap, Jameis Winston holding. That's probably going to be the only time you see Winston in this series, and it is good. So we go 24-7 at the half, but they score again, so we're only up by 10. Jet sweep to Kenny Shaw, and they stop that. So FCS Southeast has been impressive here. Maybe giving, well, besides the first game, giving him a tougher challenge than Nevada last time. Playing impressive as he throws it deep on the run, and Kenny Shaw again with another catch, 49 yards. I don't know if that's that realistic for Tim Tebow, but it gets the job done. It's now we're on second down and six. Tebow and Freeman in the backfield, and Tebow will take off first down and more. 
Gets a gain of 11 and now on first and 10 again. Tebow dropping back to pass. Going to the end zone. Caught by Kenny Shaw and it'll be a, on the one yard line. Tebow to Shaw has been effective today. As now we have first and or second and goal from a, from a couple. Fake power eye and Tebow's going to try to run it in. And he gets stuffed. So now third down and goal, Green, Christian Green in motion, or Rashad Green in motion. Tebow tries to find some daylight, and he gets a touchdown there. But FCS Southeast gets another touchdown as we're in the fourth quarter. But he finds Christian Green deep, and Christian Green with a 36-yard reception. We're still only up by 10, so a mistake could make it an interesting game. Tebow now on the run. Tebow will get a first down and more, a gain of 13. Tim Tebow and the Florida State Company looking to ice this game, preventing a big upset and a big pass to Kenny Shaw as he drags his feet and gets it in for a first down and goal. Get another look at this one as you see Tebow throwing it to Shaw and Shaw is able to grab or to drag his feet and get that catch there. It's now on first and goal with about four minutes left. Tebow finding some daylight, just runs it in for a touchdown. And now while we're up by about 18, 17 it'll take a lot and as you see they turn it over again and on third down and two Tebow just gonna take off here and he actually gets stopped so it'll be fourth and inches We get the field goal with 50 seconds left this game is over FCSC's put up a decent fight as we hand it off to Devonta Freeman He gets 14 And now just looking to ice this game with 40 seconds left Fullback will go in motion, and now a handoff to Freeman. Again, he breaks the tackle. He's going upfield. He has some open daylight to the 20, to the 10, and it'll be first and goal. And sorry, guys, I know many of y'all are probably FCS Southeast fans, but we're just going to get another touchdown for Tebow to get him closer to doing the real-life chasing Tim feature. And we just need to pad the stats. As I said in the last video, anytime we can pad the stats because we're trying to reach a certain number of touchdown throws and yards. Nothing against FCS Southeast. Love them in real life. <laughs> but anyway, that will be all as we get the victory, 48-21. to And if it continues to be like this, we're just blowing teams out. I might switch the difficulty, but, I mean, we haven't really faced tough competition yet. I think we have Clemson in week seven, and they're a top ten school, so we'll see how that goes. As you see, Tebow's a player of the game again, so thank you, everybody, for watching. As I said, go check the channel update if you want to know about the state of the channel. Go follow me on Twitter for all the latest news. Go vote for Madden NFL 15 team. And for more great content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Check out all our other series, guys. You guys are amazing. Have a great day, guys. Check back tomorrow for other videos. Peace.